I feel like no one knows what a fluted table is. It's like, like the Pied Piper of crafts. <laughs> That's not what it is, by the way. Hey everyone, welcome back to Handmade. I'm Liz, and this is Miles, my little craft buddy for the day. I don't know about you guys, but we love to look at Pinterest for inspiration. And lately I've been seeing a ton of fluted and scalloped furniture and DIYs. I'm talking about scalloped walls, scalloped headboards, fluted coffee tables, fluted side tables. And I'm just really inspired by the textured wood look that it creates. So today I'm going to put my own spin on this project with a trendy DIY fluted coffee table. So let's get started. Miles, do you want to get started? Do you want to get to work? Nap time is over. Okay, it's a fine. You can actually keep sleeping. I'm going to be the one doing it. I've seen a few other tutorials using a concrete tube as a base for a table. And I found one that's 12 inches in diameter, which is perfect for my table. If you haven't seen a concrete tube before, you can find them in the concrete area of your hardware store. And they're typically used to create um, concrete forms for things like a mailbox post or a pole. <laughs> the first step of the table is to measure and cut the concrete tube to size. Saw, saw, saw. I tried marking the line with tape, then with string. It was challenging to get a truly straight line. Using the handsaw also proved challenging. So did cutting down rough edges with scissors. This wasn't exactly my finest crafting moment. Oh, wow, this is painful. Like honestly, what is the opposite of ASMR? Because that is the sound of cutting this tube. It was very hard to listen to. How does it smell? Does it smell like failure? <laughs> okay, with a little help from Miles and some trial and error, I finally learned that the best way to get this done is to mark the measurement all the way around the tube every one inch or so. Then start the cut with a sawing motion, and once there's a gap in your concrete tube, press down on the back of the blade to use it like a knife. So you're not really doing a sawing motion, you're pressing down with a saw. This also helped me get much cleaner lines. So on to the next step. For the top of the table, I'm using a 15 inch wooden round. These come unpainted, so I'm starting with a base coat of primer and white paint. I am spray painting this, but you could definitely use latex paint for this as well. You'll want to sand between coats since painting the unfinished wood will raise the grain. Next, I'm using my new favorite thing, marble spray paint. I first saw this, of course, on TikTok when someone did a whole countertop with it and I knew that I had to give it a try. If you've done marbling with paint before, you know that it's totally doable, but it is super time consuming. This is like the silly string of paint. You just spray it with a flick of your wrist and boom, a marble effect is born. Just rotate the wood round to create a more organic paint pattern. I am obsessed. Once the marble effect is dry, finish with two to three coats of clear gloss acrylic spray to give it more of a stone-like quality. Okay, back to the base while that dries, or the fluted part of our fluted table. I'm using 11 16 inch half round pine trim for this. Cut the pieces to the same height as the table base using a handsaw or a power saw. You'll need about 60 pieces to cover the base of the table if you use a 12 inch concrete tube. Using wood glue, attach the first piece to the concrete tube and then secure it with one inch spring clamps. You'll want to wipe away any extra glue before adding the next piece. You can definitely get away with using one clamp for two pieces of wood, but you'll still need a whole bunch of clamps to make this go quickly. You could also use large binder clips, but these spring clamps are really inexpensive and useful for all kinds of things, like, yes, a chip clip. So they're definitely a good thing to have in your craft arsenal. 
The glue I'm using sets in about 30 minutes, so when I run out of clamps, I can just start pulling from the first planks. So you wanna go all the way around until you cover the tube completely with wood trim. Once it's dry, remove all of the clamps and we're ready to paint. I'm using a matte black spray paint for a really modern look on the base, but I think this table would look great in so many different colors or even left natural. And the last step, once everything is dry, attach the top to the base with wood glue. I'm adding some books on top to weigh it down to create a stronger bond. Okay, so what did you think? Would you create your own fluted table? Let me know in a comment below. I know it was a little touch and go at first, but once I figured out the concrete tube situation, it really wasn't that hard. I even created three tables total for a tiered coffee table look, and I think it's going to look amazing in this space. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Handmade for more DIYs like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.